Hello and welcome to the virtual pipe organ project. On this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to set up this Novation Launchpad Mini Mark III here. This is a small launch pad. Fits really nicely here on my music stand here. As you can see, I've got a pretty small console. So these things work pretty well for my stop control. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it in. And there, that's what it looks like when the launch pad starts up. You get this grid pattern. Uh, if you s might be hard to see, but this uh, pad here is lit up green, and that uh, says keys. What you want to do first is click on user, and the next thing you want to do is hit this button here right beside the drums. That's not lit up, it's uh, labeled session. So you press and hold that for a second, and you get this uh, screen here that pops up. Okay, and this is showing the brightness here. You can change the brightness here of the pads, maximum, minimum. But the most important feature I want to show you is uh, getting this thing into programmer, programmer's mode. Uh, the reason why you want it to put it into programmer's mode is so you can make use of these buttons here on the top and these buttons here on the side for when you're setting up Grand Org. So you hit this uh, orange lid button here and you can see it's going into programmer's mode. Now it's in programmer's mode so you hit session and then everything turns off for you. Another thing I'm going to explain about programmer's mode is all these pads have a unique uh, MIDI number that's associated with them. Uh, so for your MIDI notes. Uh, if you don't have it in programmer's mode, this starts at 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, and so on in the 4x4 pattern. But in programmer's mode, it starts as a, at 11, and goes up to 19. So 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And then the row above starts at 21. This row above that starts at 31. And so on. And this row here would start at 91. So when you're setting up these launch pads, uh, if you're doing it manually, just keep that in mind. Otherwise, as in my first tutorial, how I showed uh, with the MIDI setups of... Uh, doing the auto detect thing you press the, the MIDI pad once and when it tells you for the uh, on and then hit the same one again for off and that's basically the nuts and bolts of how these launch pads work in my next launch pad tutorial I'll get up back on the computer and show you the programmers guide and uh, the different colors available that you can light these launch pads up. But before I actually go, I'm gonna start up Grand Org so you can see how this specific launch pad is set up. So just give me a moment here. And right now we're loading up Berea Church. And I'm gonna take the camera off the stand here so this is my left launch pad set up and then you can see there's my Berea church set up here and then there's my right launch pad there so I hope that was a good introductory video to setting up launch pads with Grand Org if you like this video please click on the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to include a link to my Facebook group page, and I'll see you in the next video.